Hi, third grade. Welcome back. Um, today we are starting on chapter 11. So in your math book, you need to turn to page 623. And we're going to get started on chapter 11. Um, the title of chapter 11 is called Perimeter and Area. And those might be some new words for you. And yeah, that's going to be the focus of our chapter is perimeter and area. So we're going to get started on show what you know. And questions one and two come from chapter 10, which we have not done yet. But we can answer these anyways. And we're talking about measurement. Um, so looking at number one, it says, about how long is that um, piece of string? And we're going to compare it to the paper clips. So this, if I were to draw a line where the string ends, that is about two paper clips long. Now we usually don't measure things in paper clips. We use things like rulers or maybe yardsticks or meters. That's how we measure how long things are. But today we're going to just use these paper clips. If we draw another line here for number two, this piece of string is also about two paper clips long. And remember, about about means not exactly. So it could be a little over, it could be a little less. It's about two paper clips. Yeah, I want you to do numbers. <clears throat> three, four, and five. Well, let's do number three together. And then you'll do four and five on your own. So, number three, two plus seven plus three. Right away, I'm thinking of how can I make a 10? Because adding 10s is easy. I know that three plus seven is 10. And then I can just easily add two plus 10 is 12. Okay, do number four and five on your own. I'll give you um, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. All right, let's correct. So um, let's see. We have three plus five plus two. Well, I know that three plus two equals five. And then we can easily add five plus five, which is 10. Um, number five, how can we make a 10 here? Well, one plus nine is 10, and then 10 plus five is 15. Okay, number six and seven, these are modeling with arrays, and that's a word we already know from multiplying and dividing. Three rows of four. Where'd we get the three from? One, two, three. Where did we get the four from? How many are in each row? One, two, three, four. Three times four, we can count by threes, we can count by fours. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, number seven, four rows of two. The four comes from the rows. One, two, three, four. The two comes from how many are in each row? We know the answer is eight. Okay, moving on. All right. <laughs> so like we know, with any new chapter, we always have new math vocabulary. This chapter, some of our new math vocabulary words are perimeter and area. Um, we're going to actually skip this first part up here and just move along to um, understanding vocabulary. Complete the sentence. Complete the sentences by using the preview and review and preview words. So number one is the distance around a figure. So the distance around a figure is called the perimeter. And that's this word right here. We're going to be saying that word a lot, perimeter. And that is the distance that we use to measure around a figure to see how long something is. Okay, number two, the blank is the measure of number of units squares 
needed to cover a surface. And we would call that the area. Okay, number three, you can count or use blank or multiply to find the area of a rectangle. And that is repeated addition. And repeated addition is a pre, those are preview words. We've used pre, repeated addition to find how to multiply. So an example could be two times three. That's the same thing as three plus three. They are both six. That's repeated addition. And we can use that to find the area of a rectangle and we'll know what area means as we move through the chapter. Okay, number four, a blank is a square with a side length of one unit and is used to measure area. And we would call that square unit. And last one, number five, the blank shows that you can break apart a rectangle. We've talked about breaking apart. Think of that already is like queuing up words that we've used before. The break apart strategy. The blank shows that you can break apart a rectangle into smaller rectangles and add those rectangles back together. You think of what we've learned in the past. It's a different property. The break apart property is also called the distributive property. The distributive property. And we're going to be using that again in this chapter. All right. So now we're going to get started on 11.1, .1, and that is going to be on page 625. So now, please turn your page, book to page 625. Okay, let's get started on lesson 11.1. .1. The title of the lesson is Model Perimeter. How can you find perimeter? So this is going to be our focus word today, perimeter. What is the perimeter? Let's read this together right here. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. So I want you to take your hands, and if we were in class, we'd do this all together. And I want you to make a square with your hands, kind of like the distance around a figure. So an example of this could be, if I wanna make a fence for a garden, I need to know how wide is my garden and how long is my garden to make a fence. We're talking about measuring how long something is. So perimeter is the distance around a figure. We're gonna kind of skip. So instead of using, the math book says to use a geo board and we're not going to use that today. What we're going to use is this dot paper. Another word for this is called grid paper. And I gave you, everyone should have something like this um, stapled. It's some grid paper and we will be using this in this chapter. So make sure that you have this ready to go for chapter 11 lessons. So let's read what we need to do. You can find the perimeter of a rectangle on a geo board or on dot paper. We are going to be using dot paper in your book. By counting the number of units on each side. A, make a rectangle on the geo board. We are gonna use dot paper. That is three units on two sides and two units on the other two sides. So see right here, they're telling you 
that from this dot to this dot, that equals one unit. So what do we need to do? We need to make a rectangle, and we know what a rectangle looks like on with these connecting dots, and one side needs to be three units. So let's go ahead and draw three units. I'm gonna switch my color. So this would be one, two, three, okay? And then the other side needs to be two units. So the bottom needs to be one, two. Now, if we're making a rectangle, I know that this side needs to be the same length as this side. So if this side is three, then this side needs to be three. Let's count. Ready, go. One, two, three. And if this side is two, one, two, then what is this side going to be? If you're saying two, that's correct. One, Two. Now, did we follow the rules? Yes. Make a rectangle mm -hmm. on the geo board that is three units on two sides. So here are the three units, one and then two, and then two units on the other sides. All right, so looking at number two. So we're gonna start here. That'll be number one, and we're gonna go from one to two. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So that would be sixteen centimeters going around the perimeter. All right, let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we'd say this perimeter around is twelve centimeters. Okay, I want you to do number four on your own. All right, number twelve. Start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. Okay. Very good. All right, I want you to turn your page. And let's go to number nine. All right, so if you're with me, we're on number nine. Let's do the Think Smarter. So we're gonna look for what's the error. What happened here that this kid did wrong? <clears throat> Kevin is solving perimeter problems. 
he counts the units and says that the perimeter of the figure is 18 units. Oops. So he says that this is 18 units. Let's, so if we start here, um, let's go down. One, two, three, so he says that this is 18, but why is Kevin wrong? Can you go through and see if you can find where he made a mistake? Uh, one, two, three, right here. This space here, this should be four, and this one should be five. So he made a mistake because he skipped one. Let's do it the right way. One, two, three, and then this one here. We can't forget that one. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we have to go up. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Turn, sixteen, seventeen. Turn. 18, 19, and 20. So Kevin made a mistake because he did not count all of the sides. Okay. So if we're going to describe what he did, describe the error that Kevin made a mistake and then circle the places in the drawing where he did make a mistake. So what did Kevin do? Kevin Kevin did not count all of the units in his shape. When we say units, we mean from like one side to the next. That would be one unit. He did not count all of those. Okay. Okay, let's look at your homework. So model perimeter. All of our homework is about perimeter. You can do number two. You can do number three and four. You do not need to do number five. Oops, keep going. You can do one and two in the back. Um, and then you can do three and four. That's going back to what we've learned before and five and six. Actually, you do not need to do number six. We have not learned that yet. That'll be chapter 10. Okay. Okay, third grade. That is it for today. I hope everyone's doing okay. <clears throat> if you need anything from me, have your parents email, have your parents text me or call or message on Google Classroom. Um, I am still trying to figure this out as much as you are and so thank you for being patient and I will talk to you soon. Bye.